So, we meet again. For today's video, I decided to do a year in review. It's January 19th today, uh, and I'm reflecting on the past couple of years in my life. And I have to say that, you know, while shit has really, you know, been horrible the last couple of years, this year was a time for me to move forward with my life and go on the up and up. And I'm doing so well. Uh, and across the year, I ended up taking a lot of videos of just like moments uh, of things. So I compiled all of them into this like 12 minute compilation, basically. Um, I left out a few things. Those are for me. Uh, but this was my year in review. Happy 2023, folks. Let's make it a good one. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, I just got into art school and I just have the rest of my gap year to get through, uh, which for me is like insanity. I never thought this day would come, you know? Here we are. Uh, wow. Hey, I wanted to make a little bit of a diary of how I'm preparing before I go to art school so I can post this on YouTube. And potentially TikTok, I don't know. We'll see if you guys see this. I just did my interview for the Qbert school. I think I got in, oh my god. And I wanna post my experiences like moving into the Qbert school and what it's like to study there because I could not find a lot of information online and I think if everything goes really well with the Qbert school, it's a really underrated art program. Like, especially for kids who wanna to go to art school, that was like me a couple years ago. I actually think it's a better plan at this point for you guys to look for smaller, cheaper programs. I get you the same kind of connections for the industry you wanna work in. So if you wanna do something like animation or corporate art, like comic book illustration, graphic design, the amount of money you're saving by not going to somewhere like SVA or Pratt or Parsons is actually going to do a lot better for you in the long run financially. And you can learn just as much, if not more, and get more set up for the industry than these art schools will ever do for you. Oh, so I wanna talk about I want to, I just want to, you know, give you guys my experience as someone who's going to be doing this. You know? Yeah. Anyway, see you later. Happy, Happy birthday, dear Jasmine. Happy, Happy birthday to you. I have a college update. Uh, it's been less than a week. Or, yeah, tomorrow will be a week to the day that I've had my interview. This one just came in the mail. I got my Qbert School envelope, which I will promptly show you. Got the fancy schmancy envelope. Uh, very excited about this. We're gonna open it up, see what's inside. A little like packet of. Hold on, the lighting is weird. So there's nothing I can do about it, but I got my letter. I got a little packet of papers. Let's do a little paper packet tour. First, I got the admissions officer, uh, his card. Then I got my letter of acceptance, which I will read to you. Then I got a letter from Joe Kubert, uh, who has since passed, and the syllabus on the back. And then I got uh, the fee paperwork and prices and everything. So let me read you my little acceptance letter. It says, Congratulations, you've been accepted into the Joe Kubert School of Cartoon and Graphic Art for the upcoming 2022 and 2023 school year. This is a very important step in your creative journey, and we look forward to assisting you in developing your skills and knowledge as a commercial artist. The Kubert School has a long-standing tradition of producing many talented and accomplished artists, and we look forward to one day adding you to their number. We will soon be receiving the Kubert School Acceptance Package, which will, further, which will provide further information reading on your next steps in the enrollment process if you have any questions at all please contact us at admissions at Kubert school edu. once again congratulations signed by mike chin the academic supervisor the dude who did my interview uh anthony marcus president uh carl thomas the director carol thomas the director and fernando reese the admissions officer very cool the schedule here on the back gives me my syllabus for all three years First year, so in six months, I'll be doing basic drawing one, the human figure one, narrative art one, methods and materials one, 
layout, design, human character one, lettering, digital production one, and introduction to animation. That's pretty cool. I didn't know we were doing animation in this course, but uh, I'm like so excited. The fee doesn't look like, the tuition fee does not look like it has changed. It says it's $20,700. That's pretty good. I was actually expecting it to be more this year, but it looks like it's okay. Um, it does look like, oh, housing is like actually cheaper than I thought it was going to be too. It's total $5,750. Okay. And it gives me my school calendar. I have basically mm, a lot of most holidays. I have open houses, Christmas, midwinter break, spring break. Oh, that's so cool. And I would graduate on May 18th if I was graduating this year, which I am not. Ironically, I'm just starting. I've officially been accepted by the Qbert School and I will be getting my fancy wancy fancy dancy whatever I'll get that I'll be getting my paperwork soon update you what that's gonna look like I'm trying to give people a little bit of my experience here but I'm in <laughs> But the statement you made to me somewhere between like eight and ten bucks or eleven bucks. Yeah, that's probably true. I'm gonna get dog ass in the background of this video. What the fuck was that? Like, me too. So he went up to a bathroom and like I'm, I'm and like we're this song's like
just got the package in the mail. Amelie asked me to film this. So here we are. What is this? Bro, wait a minute. <laughs> I got a video. Okay, cool. So you. I think that's Sarah. I hear voices now. Damn it. Side. I'm not, I'm not I feel like this is gonna fuck him up. I don't know. <laughs> 